Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags. And today I am reviewing the Connect by KDS Bags. This is the newest bag in the KDS lineup. And let's go ahead and break this bag down. Material-wise on this, let's start with the fast side because this slow side is very unique. Fast side, this is that Deadhead Pro Sniper Viper fast side, nine speed, talk about a ton, you've all thrown it. It's crazy fast, pushes through anything, slides up any board conditions, very hole friendly. So nine speed on the fast side. This slow side, this is a this is a unique material. I've never seen this in any other bag. First time I felt it, first time I've thrown it. I was trying to think of the best way to describe this because Sometimes it's hard in a visual video to really describe these new materials. And honestly, the best way I can tell you is this is basically if you took the that Viking carpet and that Viper R carpet and they had a baby, you get this carpet. Right? It has it has a lot of characters, a lot of feel. Similar to what that Viking carpet does, it, it, it you can control it, shape shots like you can with that Viking carpet. It has that little bit, I, I almost call it a scratchiness. It's it's not in a bad way, but I, feel, I always feel like that Viking carpet is a little bit scratchy. It's not as soft as some other carpet materials, but you know, again, not a bad thing as it breaks down soft a little bit. It, it kind of has that feel to it. This is a little bit of a, a looser weave to it than what you get on that Viking carpet. And and and, and the, around the hole, this becomes more like that Viper R carpet, right? As far as the whole friendliness of it, it, the way it melts in the hole, the way it plays around the hole. So you really get the best of that Viking carpet, the best of that Viper carpet, R carpet, and you throw them together. And that's what you got here. I don't know what you call this. I'm not sure yet. We'll come up with the name at some point in time. But um, it's it's a wonderful material. I'll get more of that in a moment. I talk about playability, about what what why I like this, what you can and can't do with it. Uh, speed wise, KDS calls it a four and a half speed. I, I'm I'm fine with that. To me, it played somewhere in that four to five range. It was it was faster than a Viking carpet, maybe a touch slower than Viper R. So I, yeah, four and a half. I'm fine with that. So we got a four and a half on the slow, nine on the fast. Template wise on this, this is probably this is this is a medium template. There's quite a bit of filling here, um, but the bag still has. A lot of flop to it right there there's there's quite a bit of flop to this bag even for being a carpet bag it's really loose i really like i really like the way the bag feels and the fill in here is actually there's a mixed fill this is a different fill than what i'm used to in the other kds bags i've thrown but i absolutely love this fill right the the, the to dive into the fill here just for a quick moment you know i talk about the different fills and, the, and so forth everybody loves that disc fill because it gives you just that wonderful smooth soft hand feel that disc fill you get that soft landing on the board it takes a lot of the kick outs the bag lands runs straight the board the problem with the disc fill is it becomes harder to shape shots it's not as easy to cut and flop and roll with the disc fill at it's not as it that disc fill tends to want to handle the hole more it doesn't melt and drip in the hole as well as some of the bead fills do and, and so you get the bead fill the bead fill isn't quite, you know, you feel a little chunkier in the hand. You feel those individual bees. It's not as fluid in the hand. It has more bounce to it, so and which means more kick to it if you're not if you're throwing and not a flat bag. But that bead feel easier to shape shots. You can cut with it. You can roll and flop with it very easily. When it gets around the hole, those beads just want to melt into the hole. So so you got you got to trade off of the two. But when you get the if you get the blend and the mix just right, and I've I've had some bags only that have found that, and I think KDS has really done that here about taking just the right blend, the right mix of that disc and those beads and putting it together so that with this bag, you still get a wonderful hand feel. Like there's, a, there's enough still in here, you got you got enough to grip a hold of. It's it's still pretty smooth and fluid. You don't only really feel those beads there when you're grabbing this, but when you throw it, it lands pretty soft. I mean, it's, I, there's some bounce to it, not a lot. It still lands pretty soft. It doesn't kick as bad as some, like that Viking carpet. Viking carpet has a pretty good kick to it if you're not flat. This doesn't really kick that bad on you, but I was able to cut it. I, I was able to shape shots with it. I do think this is a bag that you can you can flop and roll for sure. That and it's not my style game. You can do that, but this bag was extremely hole friendly. Like, and I think because of that blended fill along with this material, that I got bags that would kind of hang out there. And normally on a store carpet bag, the way the bag was setting, I was going to have to throw an airmail drag or come with an aggressive cut. But what I found is I was just throwing bags that were just dropping in, and the next bag would just come in and hit, and would just take that bag right in like you expect a faster bag to do. So I, KS is, I don't know what kind of blend, what kind of mix they have here. Whatever they've done, I absolutely love it. I love the way it plays, all the way it feels. It's one of my favorite fills in a bag. You got to try it to figure it out. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it to you, but you definitely want to check this bag out just for that fill and just for this material. It's just, it, it's it's wonderful in the way this bag plays. In fact, we'll go ahead and jump into playability since I'm kind of talking so much about it. And, and honestly, this bag, I, I found I found, I found you can do a couple things with it. You can, it's pretty versatile somewhat. If you're a hard thrower, 
you can run bags in the hole, right? Like, and I'd like to sometimes throw hard. I tend to throw straighter and flatter when I throw hard. I just, I'm more accurate when I'm a hard to throw. When I try to, to back off and become more of a finesse thrower or more of an arc or more of a higher loft in my throw, a softer landing, that's when I tend to get a little more erratic, a little more inconsistent. So I like to throw hard. So for this bag, if you're a harder thrower or you're playing on faster boards, this bag will run right up, go in, hold no problem. You can run bags in there with it. But if you like to play a dirty style game, and that's where I think this bag shines, if you like to put bags in, in, on the board, in front of the hole, around the hole, and just cause congestion, cause chaos, cause mayhem around the board, that's what this bag is designed for. This material is so controllable. Like I feel like I could put blocks anywhere I want on the board. I could throw it, and this bag would just stop and stay there, and it made a wonderful blocker, right? So if you're playing against a potter who's not used to collecting bags, this bag is sticky enough on this side that if you don't hit it just right, it will cause bags to kick off. And, and that's what you want a blocker to do. Now, that being said, the one area that I think this bag struggles, and there's, like, there's no perfect bag, right? There's always some kind of, you got, you got to have trade-off, right? When you add something good, like a sticky material, you're, you're going to lose a little bit. And what, what I found was when I went to collect this bag, I had to, I couldn't just really clip a corner, right? If I wanted to clip a corner, what happened was these bags would kind of just bunch up, spin around. This blocker would spin and the and the, and the collect bag would just kind of spin and go in the hole. And it, it, it would there. Now, if I had multiple bags, like if, it, like if I wanted to, if I threw this in my first bag and then I wanted to start collecting, I'd take my third bag, come down, spin the bag, take us in, and then my fourth bag come through and finish it off. That was no problem whatsoever to do. And again, I'm playing on a board by myself, right? If I throw a block on my opponent's side, they're going to be throwing bags. They're going to be moving this bag in my way, out of my way, whatever. They may even collect it for me. So it, it, it's, it's just keep in mind that what I'm doing here, sometimes I left bags there because they were too far for me to collect. But if I had an opponent playing against me, more than likely, they will probably move that bag back into play and I could have collected it. Um, what I found this bag and where I think this bag really shines when I, when I played with a little bit in competition, um, where I found this bag was best was I wasn't looking to score 12 points. I wanted to throw my first bag, a blocker. I found where my opponent, you know, maybe I'd see where my opponent was throwing, where they like to land their bag, and I would throw a blocker right in their way with every intention of leaving it, not even trying to collect it. And I would put two, my first two bags on the board in front of the hole with no intention to put them in the hole, right? And then, depending on what they did, I would just send them a third bag if I wanted to start collecting or if I wanted to throw any more congestion. I wanted, basically what I wanted to do this bag is I want to score eight points. I want my point to score four or five or six, right? And that's what I look for. I'm not looking to put in 12 points and trying to, you know, let my leave an open board. For I would have put this bag up there, cost congestion. And with this fast side, this fast side is fast enough. You can flip it over and come through and collect multiple bags. You can definitely do that. I didn't have a problem these bags clogging the hole. I didn't have a lot of problem with them bunching. I think some of the, usually a fuller bag will tend to bunch and clog. I, I had a couple that maybe kind of bunched up. Not very much. The clog was not there. I think because these bags are so loose, they're not that stiff, that when they clog, they're still loose enough that they're going to fall in. They, they, and you've got that that whole friendly feel to them. They're going to melt right in. So I didn't have an issue with them clogging the hole whatsoever. These bags, for being a carpet bag, it, it, hole friendliness is very relative, very subjective. I know people say all the time, when I say a bag isn't hole friendly, I always get messages and comments saying, oh, no, that bag's hole friendly for me. When I talk about hole friendliness, I talk about bags. I mean, every bag with enough speeds will come up, spin around, and kind of melt into the hole, right? Every bag will do, even, even the stickiest bags will do that if you have enough speed, enough moment. What I have to our hole for is when a bag goes up there and stops in the hole, especially on the side or the back of the hole, how easy is it to get that bag to come back in? If I've got it, if I can't, you know, if, if my first bag's there and the next three bags don't take that in, the bag just sits there, I don't consider that very hole friendly, right? If I have to get aggressive, it's not as hole friendly. But with this bag, when I had a bag sitting there, as long as my next bag would come in and just touch it, once I've got that bag and that fill moving, the bag would just drip right in. I didn't have any issues collecting this bag. I was really blown away with how hole friendly this material was. Like I said, it reminds me of that hole friendliness of the Viper R, which makes that Viper R so popular. Everybody loves how hole friendly that is. You've got that hole friendliness here with this bag, but you've got the controllability that you have, the shot shape and abilities that you have with, like I said, that, that slower Viking carpet. You've got that here as well. So you take the best of those two materials, put them together, and you've got that. So if you like playing a dirty style game, you like throwing, con you know, throwing bags up there and causing congestion, this is a bag for you. Definitely want to check out the Connect. All in all, I absolutely love throwing this bag. You know, when I do these reviews a lot of times, I, I kind of know what footage I need. So I know as I'm throwing, I've got enough and I'll stop. But when I was throwing this bag, even after I had the footage I needed for this video, I just kept throwing it. I love throwing it. It's really, it's fun to throw. I can't wait to get your feedback when you guys start getting these bags in your hand to hear how you love these. But definitely check out the Connect. They're going to be releasing soon, which leads me to availability. Um, the KDS does their drops on Facebook. They have a business page as well as a fan group, KDS Bags Fanatics. I'll put a link in the description for both of those. Make sure you like their Facebook page. Make sure you join that fan group. 
their drops have been going um typically the last few have gone through the fan group page i'm not i didn't i didn't ask kyle i should ask him i forgot to sometimes i get in these these reviews and i was like oh i should have asked about this or that and i always forget to but anyway i'm pretty sure they'll probably go through the fan group page so make sure you jump in join that fan group so you can you can, you can keep an eye out when these bags drop i'm telling you you're going to love these bags you definitely want to get a set of them uh the, the last few drops i and i think these the last he did he did like a one bag release one set release here recently they were a hundred dollars first set i think it's kind of probably where they're gonna be in that range and that includes shipping that's all in that's to your door very reasonable high quality bags they're well worth it you you're getting your money's worth out of that so yes definitely check out the connect from kds bags i thank you guys so much for support and i thank you for watching